بسم اللہ خان رحمٰن السلام علیکم پاکستان وی بین ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ سائیکولوجیکل ڈسٹنسنگ اینڈ سلیکٹو اٹینشن ان آر پاس سیشن اینڈ دس از دا لاسٹ سیشن آن دس پرٹیکولر ٹاپک ویری امپارٹنٹ ٹاپک اگین دا ڈوز اینڈ ڈونس اینڈ وائی ڈز اٹ ہیپن اور وائی ڈز اٹ ناٹ ہیپن اٹ فارمز ویری بیسز آف کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ اگین آف اٹ انیبلز اس ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ کارپوریٹ گورننس ان اے بیٹر وے دیٹ وائی ڈو کمپنیز ڈو سرٹن تھنگز اینڈ وائی دے ڈونٹ ڈو سرٹن تھنگز اینڈ وائی ڈو دے ٹین ٹو ریشنلائز آن سو مچ واٹ شوڈنٹ بی دیئر اینڈ وائی دے ڈونٹ ڈو سو مینی تھنگز which can be done. So there are different questions which are evolving from these different sessions. So more than answers, I would say that these sessions basically tend to raise some very pertinent and very meaningful questions. Questions which are different from uh, society to society, uh, institution to institution, and context to contextualization. So when we are talking about all of this, then uh, especially in Pakistan, we see that uh, in the past many years, there has been this unfortunate and very tragic and very horrifying and very abhorrent trend that uh, children are being abused. Women are being abused and children are being abused. Now this is extremely abhorrent, horrific and absolutely unacceptable. How is it that as human beings, we have remained oblivious to all of this, have closed our eyes and ears to all of this and let it happen? It is the most heinous crime that anyone can even imagine or conceive. So in all of these years, we've seen that one of the very well known cases is the Zainab case in which this beautiful child passed through so much of pain, anguish and terror and lost her life. The unimaginable act of cruelty to children might be, have faded from the collective national consciousness had it not been for the rape and murder of the child Zana. Collectively, we have been shutting our eyes and ears to all of this, not focusing on it, not proactively engaging in it, but only burning out the fire when the fire would be there and then trying to move on But that has been very detrimental and psychologically debilitating. We have to understand that as a nation, we have to be held responsible and account for these cruelties and curb these cruelties proactively. If we do not do that, then we will die as a society. We will lose our upper moral ground and fade away in the history of nation. It is very important that we uphold our values and commit ourselves to the betterment of society. The whole country erupted into an uproar and protest and defiance during the incident of Zainab. And that then led to the promulgation of Zara, the Zainab alert Response and Recovery Act 2020, followed by the creation of the Zainab Alert Response and Recovery Agency. Now, this law is an explicit law which ordains protection to the child, to the weak, to those who do not have a voice, to those who have had to suffer. And to ensure its implementation, that it should not only be a collage of words known as a law, it is even more important to have implementation and therefore the Zara Agency or what we say is the Zainab Alert Response and Recovery Agency has come into existence and will be proactively engaging with community and society at large and through technology identify and then apprehend, prosecute, and punish the culprits who have committed these heinous crimes, not against the individual, but against humanity as a whole. We cannot psychologically distance ourselves from such facts. We cannot indulge in social distancing. We have to engage, 
we have to proactively engage we have to move forward comprehend understand create effective solutions make society aware of the ills and policies within society and overcome them through collective proactive input and make agencies like zara effective in all the districts replicated not only within punjab but also the other provinces so that we have a more safe place for women and especially for children we cannot let such crimes keep on unfolding these crimes have to be dealt with a heavy hand and we as members as responsible members of society have to stand up for what is right and correct and ensure that it is implemented wholeheartedly wholesomely rather than just mere window dressing and sloganeering we need to have substance so that we can do away with these ills we cannot have selective attention that because we don't like listening to this we don't focus on this we have to focus collectively as humanity and ensure that such abhorrent acts and incidents do not happen again